this is Abby and we're here today at the Mohawk Valley Resource Center for Refugees at World Refugee Day. And today we're with... Bob Cardillo. Claudia Cardillo. Ah, very nice to have you on the couch. Now what do you guys do in the community? I uh, have a business called the Cardinal Organization, which is a uh, public affairs government relations firm. I'm retired 25 years from the county as a caseworker. Very nice. Now, today we're celebrating diversity here at the Refugee Center. Do you know any of your family's history or when they came to America? Uh, yes, very much so. My uh, grandparents uh, immigrated from Italy. Uh, my grandfather was from uh, Caserta in Italy, southern Italy, as well as my grandmother. I think I'm about a quarter Calabrese also. And uh, they came to this country similar to many of the refugees that are here in this community today to come and look for opportunity and a better life. So. Yes, um, my family, both sides, came from Italy. Um, early 1900s, they went through Ellis Island and um, both of Italian heritage. Um, my uh, grandparents came, my grandmother was from Florence, Italy, and my grandfather was from Calabria. So, yeah, strong Italian heritage. And that's one of the wonderful things is that Utica really is a city with so much diversity, whether you came here 30, 40 years ago or you got here yesterday. And that's one of the great things that we think we need to celebrate some more. So now, in your time here, what do you love about Utica? I think Utica is the best kept secret in America. It's a little jewel nestled here in the foothills of the Adirondacks with a wonderful diversity of people, uh, diversity of industry, uh, diversity of cultures, where people just are really good to each other. Uh, one of the things I think is amazing about this city, and I've lived in New York, I've lived in Washington, I've lived in Los Angeles, went to law school there, lived in Atlanta, Georgia, Jackson, Mississippi, home is home. And people in this community are very, uh, very close-knit and we are the most generous community I have ever been in. And I think that's one of the greatest things about this area, is the generosity uh, that we have toward other people. And that's exactly what I was gonna say. It's the generous heart of this community that is so amazing, and I don't think you really find it anywhere else. I think even in um, you know low-income areas, they're very generous with their food, with their time, with their energy. Um, not just money. Um, so they have a, this community has a lot to offer and a lot to give. Very much so. And thank you so much for joining us on the couch today. Welcome to the couch thank family. You. And I hope to talk to you again soon. Thanks very much. You do a nice job. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.